Welcome tourists. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, the Animal Tarot Cards and Divine Directions. Okay, so Taurus, let's get into it. We'll get the Starseed Oracle card first and then we'll have a read of it. Wow, just like that. Hang on. No, we've got two cards. Sorry. One card. One card for Taurus, please. Many. One card for Taurus. They are a bit sticky because they are quite new. But here we go. Okay. Oh no, that's two. Sorry, Taurus. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, Taurus. There we go. There we go. Okay, so Taurus, you're not alone. Isolation physical connection community you're not alone even if it feels like you are alone there is connection there okay so let's have a look three cards for Taurus please from the divine directions three cards for Taurus in relation to you're not alone there's far too many the cards are doing some weird things today, Taurus, for you. Three cards. There we go. Look at that. Three. Just like that. Okay, so first card here is Teach. Second card here is Guides. And third card here is Soulmates. Love it. Love it already. Okay, so first card, Teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching? This could be something, especially when we're talking about community, right? This could be something that may help you connect with others, yeah? Also, with this card, you're not alone. It says physical connection. So I think it's important to maybe get out um, and or ring someone up and meet them for a cup or something like that, right? really get out there and um, even if you don't feel like it right now it's important for you to do that because the physical connection is crucial for you right now Taurus okay so tell me more about teach for Taurus please what we got here first okay on the floor okay let me pick this up okay so we've got the peacock here okay and this is about you needing to release okay releasing the things that are not working for you releasing the things that you are holding on to which drag you down okay i feel like taurus it's about you needing to spread your beautiful wings okay it's time for you to be seen and time for you that the the um the purity of you to come out yeah um it's it really is time to let go and um put to rest everything that is holding you back from doing that okay we've got the four of spring here and I absolutely, see, this is this connection, right? This connection again. And it's, um, it's especially with the release card here, I feel like actually for some of you, re you really need that support of others. And it's important for you to reach out because I feel as though people may think that you're okay. And it could even be that you're telling them you're okay when you're not. And I think it's very, very, very crucial for you to be honest with others right now and say, I'm not coping. I'm not, I, like, I actually, you need a big hug. That's what I feel like for some of you. You need a big hug instead of trying to um, take it all on board and, and, and appear as though you're sweet when you're not. 
you need to just be honest and say, I oh, actually, this is what I need right now. Just a simple hug, you know. Um, yeah, that's really important for you, Taurus, okay. <sighs> Look at this here, right? The dreamer. This is about you taking a leap of faith, okay? This is about you going into a whole new world, okay? And I feel like if some of you are want to embark upon being a teacher, this is an opportunity for you to be that. And whichever, it doesn't have to be at school, could be in any shape or form, right? Um, that, especially with the release card here, it's like, you know, two, two separate worlds, you know, and this is, look at this dog leaping onto this other, uh, across the river, right? And he's doing it with joy. He's doing it with, um, you know, to chase those butterflies. He doesn't even actually realize that that's happening, you know. And so if there's something that lights you up inside, it may not even be teaching. You know, it could be something else. But if there's something that lights you up inside, chase your dreams. Chase them. They're worth it. Yeah? The king of spring here. Look at this. Look at the power of this lion. Sitting here looking at the butterfly in the tree. Yeah, This is the transformation of you here, Taurus. A brand new beginning. And I feel as though it's important for you to step into... <laughs> it's hard to see on the camera. I'm like pointing to it and my fingers behind there. Um, it's, it's important for you to step into the power of of who you truly are, of this lion, right? Muster up all the strength within you. Yeah? And remember that I am Taurus. Yeah? You are who you are. And you're a powerful being. And the transformation that can take place when you stand in that power is huge. Okay? We've got the Eight of Winter here. And this is about you stepping out of the cage. All these other birds up here are outside of the cage. They know what they are doing. They are, are living the purpose that they are here to live. For you, Taurus, you are just coming out of the cage. Okay? And so it can be scary, you know, when you're stepping into something new. That can be scary. But remember who you are. You know, if this is something that you've dreamed about, chase those dreams. Chase them with joy. Chase them with excitement. Not fear. Not dread. With excitement. Yeah? And with power. Okay? We have guides here. Your spirit guides are there to help you. Communicate with your spirit guides today. They are indeed. They are indeed. They are there to help you. And, um, and, and they're waiting for you to connect with them and ask, you know, and maybe this is this connection here, yeah? Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look here. I'll pick this card up. Okay, we've got the Ten of Winter. And the eight of summer, yeah. See, this is also when we're talking about guides and saying that they are there to help you. They're there to help you to put to rest the 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 pain, which has been pretty massive for you, Taurus. To put that to rest, to help you release that, okay, so that you can embark on this new journey and go in search of what it is that you truly want in your life, okay. Um, we have the five of summer here, which I feel like is about you taking flight, right? Taking flight to find where it is that you belong, okay? Um, and because it, it, the power, the power that you possess within is what is going to help you on that journey, okay? Remembering that always every step of the way, right, every step of the way here, Taurus, you know, and if you need to come back and watch this over and over again to help you remember that, to see this over and over again, then do that, okay, we have the Queen of Autumn here, and um, 
what I love about this is this there's this representation of this this rabbit here standing there as the protector right and we have this one over here a little bit um more daring ready to step out and have a look what's going on and this one over here hiding away in fear right so have a look at this Taurus which one are you which one are you here right and work on stepping into the power of the queen yeah who can go out and take on the world knowing that she is the queen yeah okay or the king right okay so we've got the six of winter here yeah this is leaving behind what is not working for you going to a new new pastures new pastures i'd say for you okay traveling for some of you this may be actual travel that um in your life but it's also i suppose um again looking at it as an exciting journey rather than something like oh i don't really want to have to do this but you know i have to like i've got no choice like see it as an adventure okay so we've got the two of summer here and i absolutely adore this because this is about you finding your tribe this is about you finding those people who are your people right when you're flying out of the cage here you're embarking upon a journey to find those who you can swim with, you can swim through the currents of life with, right? Especially with the soulmates card coming up here. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers and family members and they are there to teach you. They are there to help you, right? Just like your guides, okay? Um... Sometimes those people, it can be harsh lessons. They can be harsh lessons and it can hurt, you know. But it's lessons all the same. And that's the important thing about it is to actually take those lessons and learn from them so you don't have to repeat them, okay. Okay, so there's that last card there, get these out in the order they have come, right, I love this, oh yeah, 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 I really love this, okay, awesome, okay, so we've got awakening here, look at this, this is a huge, huge change in your life. Okay, this is seeing things from another perspective. Okay, look at the giraffe here eating something upside down, right? What is it going to taste like if I do it like this? You know, it's trying things out. Trying different things out to see what works for you. Okay, really coming out of your shell and discovering the world. Okay, trying new things. Okay, there's going to be decisions that you need to make. And it may be very difficult. Which ball of wool, wool will I play with? see it as some fun okay but i want to say about this is try not to get too tangled up in the decision making process okay sit back feel it see what it feels like if i go with this this decision what does that feel like for me what if i go for this one what does that feel like feel feel it out so that you're leading from the heart space here taurus okay and then you can work out oh yeah this is the one, this feels better for me, this makes me quite anxious, or this make, it fills me with dread, you know, but this here, this feels good, okay, the five of autumn here, um, make sure you're keeping things positive, okay, make sure that you are uplifting um, yourself with your thoughts, okay, very, very important, all right, um, and remember the good things, remembering the good things whatever has happened whatever it is that you need to release okay and things that may have gone wrong in the past look at the good things look at the good things you got out of it the good times that you had okay the growth that has happened for you focus on all those good things here 
all right? We have the six of spring, okay? And this is about success. This is about the journey of you, you know, traveling along and having lots of little successes along the way. You know, sometimes we just aim for the big thing, but it's the little things that we need to celebrate because that keeps the momentum going as well, right? That keeps that coming in, all right? And we have the 10 of autumn, right? This is, look at this beautiful, beautiful energy here. And this, this, you know, dog standing up here with pride. Like, this is what I built. This is what I have achieved. You know, this is my aim. Look at what your aim is. Feel it. You know, what will it feel like to have that when you get it, right? And so that you can keep aiming towards that, especially in the hard times, especially in the times of indecision and you're not sure which direction to go in. Yeah, really focus on that goal for yourself, okay? So, let's have a look. You are not alone. We're going to have a read of this. Alrighty. You're not alone. Okay. Isolation, physical connection, community. The older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many starseeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for their vitality, as it allows them to commute with their soul and fill up their energetic resources, especially if they have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. Many starseeds find it more nourishing to retreat than to spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we're not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals and we all need the love, company and support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people and yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. There's still so much we don't know about the energetic side effects of things like social media. With so many people knowing our news, what is it doing to our auric field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life. To replenish when you need to, but not isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regular catch-up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life. Those who truly know you. Okay, and here's the soul inquiry. So this is a question for you to ponder on. How can you reach out to people in your life physically? Okay, cool. That's really good. Just dropped it there, but anyway. Um, Taurus, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.